Hello guys, today I want to present you my new online course on Teachable Platform. It's called Advanced Laravel Testing. It's kind of a follow-up on a test that I released in August a month ago. That one was for the beginners for testing and this one is for advanced techniques. And this time I decided to publish three videos on this YouTube channel for free. Out of the 33 videos inside of that course, if we briefly jump through the curriculum, this will be the video that you will see today about GitHub Actions, which is a fundamental thing in CI/CD, the most easier one to implement. Then we'll talk in the course about various assertions and different nuances to that. Then how to test different features of Laravel framework. Then I will have random testing tips, which didn't really fit anywhere. And then finally, probably the most requested in terms of questions before this course section about faking and mocking classes and testing external APIs, third party APIs along the way. So if you want to take that course, the link will be in the description below, or you can subscribe to yearly membership of my courses, which currently will give you 36 courses and everything I will release for a year ahead. But today I'm publishing the first free video from this course about GitHub Actions. There will be two more free videos tomorrow and the day after tomorrow on this YouTube. So enjoy those and purchase the course if you want to support this channel. While talking about automated testing, we talk about automatically test instead of testing the things manually, right? But what if we could automate the automation, so to speak? The next step to ensure the quality of our application is automatically run tests whenever something is pushed to the repository or in some other conditions. And recently, or pretty recently, GitHub launched GitHub Actions, and one of the most popular actions in Laravel, it's called Laravel, that would help you to automatically run the test. Let me demonstrate it to you. This is kind of the fundamental core thing about so-called CI-CD, continuous integration and continuous delivery and continuous deployment. So how it works in general is someone pushes the code to, for example, a branch, and then GitHub Action is launched to run the test automatically. And if the tests fail, there would be an error with X icon that it failed, and then the developer would know what to fix without anyone even looking at the code or testing it manually. So that prevents a lot of errors from appearing in the first place. Now let's take a look at a practical demonstration. It's extremely easy to set up. So you don't need any external CI tool or pay for anything, you just need actions. So in your repository, you click on actions and you click set up a workflow and suggest it for this repository as it is a Laravel repository, Laravel workflow. We click configure, which will create a file laravel.yml in .github workflows folder and will automatically be created in the main branch. Depending on your situation, you could create it in a separate branch or something like that but I will just show the default option. And what it does, it basically instructs GitHub to run a lot of things. It uses this GitHub action, which basically sets up the PHP, which may be version 8.1, for example, let's change that, then uses actions checkout, and every action, those actions separately are published elsewhere, and workflow consists of actions. So action this, action that, then uses maybe external actions checkout, for example. And what it does, basically, it runs Laravel application, installs Laravel application on a virtual environment, and then run tests on, for example, in this case, on SQLite database. So the end result of all of that on a virtual environment, it will run vendor bin PHP unit, or you can change it to PHP artisan test. That's your preference. So you can call this thing kind of a scenario. Again, it's a workflow. And to enable that, you just click start commit. You can put more meaningful message, but let's leave it as default and we click commit new file. Now look what happens. It is committed. And then if we go to code back, it automatically has this icon, which means in progress. And if we click that, there is already a job in progress automatical check when something is pushed to the main branch. It is queued, waiting. If we click details, what is happening here? Exactly that scenario, one by one, set up job, run actions, install dependencies. This is probably taking the most of the time because Composer install without any caching 
it may take like 10 seconds or so. Then those are pretty quick and then it runs test with errors as you can see. And the problem is of course that on that environment we don't have Vite. But this is a great example that the workflow failed and this is exactly what should happen if you want to notice the errors. So you have that X icon and if we go to for example code then commits you can see this X icon. You probably have seen it on Laravel packages if some commit didn't pass the automated checks. So those are automated checks and you can see through commits and here the icon also shows that it failed and then you can go to check why it failed. You have details and then you see the details of tests with nine failures, probably all of them due to vid manifest not found. Now let's try to fix that error. To be honest, the last time I've run GitHub Actions, it was before Vite became a thing in Laravel 9. So I don't know the solution up front, but I've Googled that there is kind of a workaround in the main test case abstract class you should add without Vite. So let's do exactly that. I copy this part and there is a test case, the main abstract class, like the main test case of all the cases. And I paste the setup, so we call the parent setup, and this means without Vite. And actually, let's commit it directly via GitHub, so it would be visually seen. Let's undo here, and let's do, in our application, go to tests, and then test case, and then edit the file. Then we paste that part here, some formatting, and let's see if it works. That would be a commit which would fire a GitHub action, update test case, for Vite, commit changes, and let's see what happens. Maybe it would be successful. We go back to code, we see this icon again in progress, and let's see what it brings us. Let's click on the details and see, and we have success. This is the icon for success. So the test, all the tests have passed. You can click the details. You can click here and see the details. So PHP unit was successful with 27 tests and 78 assertions, which means that our latest commit didn't break anything. So in this fashion, you should set up GitHub Actions and whenever someone pushes to main or to whatever develop branch, in reality, you should use develop branch and feature branches and not push straight to the main. So this demonstration was just for demonstration of GitHub Actions, but that's not the default workflow and you shouldn't commit to main branch on GitHub visually. I probably should have mentioned this in the beginning of this video, but I hope you watched until the end here. But yeah, this is how automated tests are automated without anyone even launching PHP Artisan test locally or somewhere to ensure the quality of the code being pushed and deployed.